welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new if you are new my name is Shannon I do all sorts of videos here on this channel from kind of vlogs like homey vlogs um, travel vlogs when we go on holidays and general family and lifestyle motherhood stuff um, but today I thought I'd pick up the camera because I keep meaning to and then the days kind of just roll and I'm like oh, I'm not doing anything interesting but um, I'm not doing anything particularly interesting right now. Um, it is currently Wednesday. I've just got back from a play date with my friend um, and our little ones, Buzz, my little boy, has just gone for his nap. So I thought I'd do a bit of a spend a nap time with me vlog. Now he is already about half an hour into his nap, so I don't know how long I've got, but I'm just gonna do a bit of a tidy up, I'm gonna make some lunch, um, if you haven't seen recently on my channel, we have just bought a caravan, so we've been doing lots of deep cleaning of that and things, which I did mean to vlog, but I just didn't. I kind of was just nabbing a chance here and there as I could, like during nap times and things. Um, so it is like nice and clean now. Ollie hoovered it last night, and um, yeah, I've just got bits to kind of put back in there and things, so I thought let's just use this nap time and get as much done as we can. So firstly, the kitchen is a mess, like a mess. Um, it's not been sorted from dinner last night. I made dinner, I made a HelloFresh dinner last night, which was delicious. It was like lamb, is it koftas, koftis? You know, like the little like kebabs um, with like yummy potatoes and like a tomato rocket salad. I normally hate rocket, but it was actually really, really nice. So um, yeah, there was like a fig jam on the koftas. <laughs> it's really good. Um, but yeah, I made that, we ate it, and then we actually went out um, and popped to a few shops. So when we got back, we just kind of put Buzz to bed and stuff, and I was super tired. I had like washing tang up and all of that. So the kitchen just got left, and then this morning, we were in a bit of a rush to get out. So it's still left, and the smell of leftover dinner from last night is really starting to bother me now. So yeah, I'm gonna go and have a sort out of the kitchen. So let's go and do that. So here is the state of my kitchen. I should be embarrassed to show you this, but do you know what? We're all friends here. Look, even a random chicken dipper from Buzz's dinner. Um, yeah, it is quite the mess. The recycling needs to go out. The dishwasher is clean and I have mostly emptied it, like between doing bits and bobs, but I need to finish emptying it, reload it, give everything a good clean over. This is to go in the caravan. Cereal to go away, nappies to go away dead tulips over there which were really lovely by the way i'm sad they're dead um so yeah let's have a good tidy up the my outfit like i'm in this let me prop you up where can i put you can i put you on some cereal on the radiator i don't think you're gonna be high enough on the cereal on the radiator what about two boxes of cereal on the radiator see me you're a bit wonky um it's also very dark, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I've got on, I'm loving these like oversized, like crinkled shirts at the minute. I got this one in Georgia Asda, it was £15 and I did just buy two more in New Look, which were a bit more expensive, which is annoying. But um, yeah, bump is bumping. And I was just gonna say, if you can see me, I've got comfy trousers on. I was wearing jeans, but I got home and put comfy trousers on because there's just no time for jeans when you're at home. So yeah, ignore that. But I'm gonna prop you probably somewhere better than this because the lighting's not great. Or well, I'll try and fix the lighting. Let's tidy the kitchen. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two make some lunch. 
I just went and cut some daffodils from the garden. A lot of daffs out there. Um, there's more like all around, but so I've just cut some to replace my dead old tulips, which is nice. Now I'm gonna make a lunch. I'm gonna make like a spinach and feta puff pastry tart thing with some like cherry tomatoes and things, I think. Um, I've just had the puff pastry out of the fridge, like getting to room temperature. Um, and yeah, I need to defrost the spinach because I just buy frozen spinach because fresh stuff, I feel like, like that kind of just doesn't last that long. Like if you don't use a whole lot, you end up throwing stuff away. So yeah, I'm gonna defrost the spinach um, and then make a yummy, yummy lunch. Ollie is actually in a meeting over his lunch break. So I'm hoping he'll be able to have like a lunch break after. Um, and then I'm gonna get out into the caravan and start putting things away. So I can't really remember what I used for the base when I make this, but I've got some like Philadelphia type stuff. So I think I'm gonna use that, like spread that on the base. So it's gonna be quite cheesy, um, but I think that's fine. And then I'll do some herbs. I've got my spinach that I need to frost. I don't know if that's enough, but that's fine. Some cherry tomatoes. And then I just buy the ready to go puff pastry. So I'm really hungry. Um, we've also got some leftover potatoes from dinner last night. I don't know how well they'll like reheat, but I'm gonna try because let's not let it go to waste. And um, yeah, I'm very, very hungry. Like the day before, you're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door. You don't have to wake up yet. We can spend all day in bed. I'll put the TV in the room. We'll have a Netflix. Okay, so the first one is this like beigey colour one. Now these weren't in maternity, these were just in the normal store. Um, but I just got a size 18, so yeah, it does up really nicely, like plenty of room for a growing bump. I feel like maybe it looks a bit oversized right now, but um yeah, I really like it and it covers your bum super nicely, so I can wear this with like leggings and not feel self-conscious and yeah so again it is this like crinkle kind of material I feel like I'd probably wear it with the sleeves rolled up rather than like this because it is a bit long <laughs> on the sleeves but yeah I just think it just kind of is a nice throw over do you know what I mean and then I also got this again but in another colour so yeah let me show you I got it in this really nice colour I'm sorry if the camera is it in focus hopefully it is um it's like a really nice bright orange and I feel like for you know summer that is lovely again nice and long I feel like even though this was like the same shirt I feel like it does fit slightly differently like I got the same size and it's not I don't know it is still oversized but I don't know if it's quite as but um yeah I just think over like a maxi dress or jeans and a top or just anything I just feel like they're really nice and we don't really iron. <laughs> I avoid ironing. We have actually never used the iron or ironing board since we've moved here. It's stayed in the garage <laughs> since the day we moved here. Um, I do use my heat press. I use my business sometimes to iron, but very, very rarely. So yeah, um, we're not about that life, but I just thought I'd show you because if anyone else is like a little bit, you know, conscious of like maybe having your arms out or not that you should be like if I get hot my arms are coming out because I'm not gonna be sweating for no one <laughs> but yeah just a nice little cover up and I like that they're bright I think the pink and the orange in my face but the beige one is nice as well um I just need to get some new long vest tops that actually fit this bump I think I'm gonna look for maternity ones um but yeah this is 25 weeks today and he's a big, <laughs> big bump. Um, but yeah, I better go and check on lunch. I thought I'd show you those. Um, I'll link them below if I can find them online. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> Yummy. So this is a quarter of that thing. So yeah, we can have the leftovers tomorrow whenever, but 
tasty. Delicious, little bit of extra cucumber because I just like a bit of cold with this kind of thing, you know? just brought me a tea in my new mug that Amy got me for my birthday. Cheers Ames, I've not used it yet, but finally um, using it. So that's nice. Look at the uh, monstrosity that is our front garden right now. This is all Ollie had to dig up to get the caravan where it is. <laughs> but the plan is to, we were saying to like get the driveway properly done, like try and get people to come and like match what we've got and to like extend over. That would be like my favorite option, but it's expensive. And also um, I think we have to get planning permission to do that. But um, I think the second option we're gonna go for is to get rid of all this soil, lay down like the right stuff and then pebble this bit, I think. Um, I hope it doesn't look too weird. We're gonna try and make like a little feature of the front garden still um because yeah we have taken away quite a lot of it we've still got like a nice front garden but this bit is not looking cute call oh, this bird poo we keep getting swallows um oh, they are flying around i put it on my instagram and people said it was a swallow murmuration i want to say where they basically do a little dance in the sky and it's lovely there's like hundreds every evening um for the last few weeks but everything is getting covered in poo so yeah anyway i am carrying on stopping waffling i wonder what goes here um yeah anyway right under the sink we've got this cupboard that probably when we do it up could definitely do it with like re like vinyling or whatever's on there um but for now i'm just gonna put things back in there it is clean despite it not looking it's just like stained but um yeah we've got this bag of saucepans mixing bowls like rolling pins i mean i don't know how much i'm gonna need this stuff on a caravan trip like do you know what i mean but then i think well they had it all in here before and it was obviously handy so i'm gonna try and keep as much as seems right show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds because without you by my side i would be stuck here on the ground you're lighting up the way I we left loads of stuff in here there was like loads of cleaning products and everything like that um but there's loads of duplicates and also just bottles with like tiny bits in and stuff so i kind of had a big clear out i've kept a couple of bits but i am gonna restock it with our own cleaning stuff um soon might do a little home bargains trip for that any excuse for a home bargains trip but um i'm gonna kind of pop away the stuff we're keeping so i'll just show you um i mean furniture polish i don't know how much i'll use that but it's like a full bottle so we'll keep it um yeah like this is kind of dregs of fairy up liquid but i just gathered let's just finish it off and then we'll get more when we need it that might well see us through the season i don't know how much we're gonna end up going away the thing that's kind of stopping us at the minute i say stopping us we only got it two like a week and a half ago i think a week and a half two weeks yeah a week and a half ago um we've not camped in it overnight yet but i think we're going to this weekend basically it was on our driveway and we have now moved it to the side of the house where we want it to like live um but it was like <laughs> really difficult to get it where it is because as you saw we dug up the front garden <laughs> to get it here but it was like a rainy day and the caravan was like getting stuck in the mud we'd like put planks down and stuff but they were still sinking and it was a big big job like it was a really a long weekend of ollie had to like knock out a black like, wall to kind of get it here so he knocked out wall did a few runs to the tip to get rid of soil and um as you saw there's still a huge pile so we're gonna try and use that in our garden somewhere else like to save the waste of it and like to you know go into the dump and stuff but um yeah until we've sorted the driveway i don't think we're gonna move it just because it was a faff i don't know so that's why as well like rather than getting someone to come and do our driveway as much as it being like a lot cheaper to do it ourselves um with the pebbles and things 
it just means we can get it done a lot quicker rather than like waiting for people to come and do it or like planning permission and stuff like we want to be able to get out onto the road so yes I have kind of been persuaded <laughs> to do that with the driveway I'm hoping it doesn't look too mismatched but um yes yeah, so I don't know how much we're gonna actually get away like how soon but I'm really hoping quite soon but I think um we will do a little sleepover in it I think very liquid we've got like a few bottles of this butane gas which is really good for the um gas stoves that you use obviously don't use them in the caravan use them outside the caravan but yeah we've got one that we used camping and they gave us one as well so we will definitely use that there's just a surface cleaner which is pretty full mold and mildew remover um some hand soap which I don't know um and some bin bags so that's all those bits and then we've got some like foil cling film a couple of disposable barbecues and stuff so we might as well keep those these were in here I don't really know what they are but I figured let's keep them and see um yeah I don't really know what they are but they catch flies apparently matches because you always need them at some point and then loads of paper plates so again I thought there was no point getting rid of those because they could come in really handy um when we're on our travels I'm gonna put all of this stuff do cleaning I think at the bottom and then like the kind of foil cooking kind of stuff the gas up here I think and then I think we've almost put away the stuff that I need to put away in this nap time Hey, do you want to let me know when he wakes up from his nap and I'll come in? I'm just going to sit in the caravan for a bit, have my cuppa and uh, admire our garden. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Okay, I am just in the caravan still. I've put away those bits and bobs and... Um, yeah, I just thought I might as well have my tea in here since Ollie brought it out and it's actually quite nice. I am sat here though looking in the garden. Does anyone else's garden, if you've got kids, just always look a mess because ours does. Like from here I can see Buzzy's tough tray that we got out yesterday um, that's got his cars and like water and stuff. He's doing a bit of car washing um, and he's got his teddy out here which is his favourite teddy ever so that's not ideal. Um, and just random stuff we've also dug up half the garden because well oh, long story but yeah I think we're gonna try and make the back of the garden a little like play area for buzz eventually there's just so many odd jobs to do like our house like if you were watching earlier like our kitchen is still so it's as it was when we bought it so dated um, as is a lot of it like the carpets and stuff the bathroom we like decorated which i love but i want to replace the floor because it's carpet in there which i really don't like and actually as we're getting here um as we've been here for like a longer time i feel like if it's just adults in the house that's one thing but with buzz like he's at a mega splashing stage of his baths and I just feel like it's gonna make the floor go smelly. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I really wanna get some floor in there. And plus our bathroom is tiny, so it really shouldn't cost a lot. Um, but it does just feel like there's just endless jobs. And with the kitchen, um, we wanna do an extension eventually. So it's like, how much is it worth doing up the kitchen when we're gonna do an extension? But the extension might not be for ages, so I'm like, should we just do like a DIY, you know, like a proper budget, like just paint the cupboards and paint everything. But the cupboards are kind of that, like, I don't know how well they'd do up. But yeah, it is just like a, there's just always jobs, isn't there? Um, if you if you move into a house that's like a pre-owned house, um, I suppose in a new build, it's quite a blank canvas. So you can kind of, um, yeah, just add bits and bobs, but yeah obviously this house was kind of decorated in the 50s so our bedroom though we've done and I love it so yeah that was a random waffle but I'm gonna sit on my phone actually for a bit because I want to order some maternity vest tops like I was saying um and some like trousers some I just want like I love living in leggings but I feel like Sometimes it's a bit cooler to wear like, you know, like wide leg trousers and um, yeah, kind of like the beige ones I was wearing earlier, but I just want them in like a black or whatever. So I'm going to have a look and um, 
see what I can find. I think H&M does some maternity ones. They're like called like uh, before and after maternity trousers or something like that. So they're meant to be able to be worn after you've not got your bump anymore. Um, so I'm going to have a look and I want to pick up Buzz a couple of outfits as well um, because I did get some last week but from Primark but I didn't get what I wanted um, I just got like a couple and he definitely I definitely feel like he could do with a couple more so yeah I'm gonna sit and have a little browse on my phone try and make that order um, try and find a discount code <laughs> standard um, because I just feel like every month we're spending so much money even though we're trying to be like really good like I feel like we buy so much second hand like Facebook marketplace and things and we use discount codes we shop at Audi um and all of that but we're still just burning for our money every month so yeah gonna try and limit the spending a bit but also we do need some things so anyway my tea's getting cold he could have brought me out my cookie couldn't he but I'll let him off I'll have my cookie later I'll do a bit of scrolling and I'll show you what I end up getting if I end up getting anything Right, you cannot tell me that like shops are not biased towards girls, if that's the right way to put it. But there's so many, like if you're a boy mum, do you agree that there's always so, so much more choice for girls than there is for boys? Like, for example, I've just looked at sibling. I've typed in the search sibling because I really want to find like a matching outfit. And it'd come up that they do like big sis, little sis tops. And I thought, let's try and find big bro, little bro. So, I don't know how much you can see my screen, but this is sisters, both of those. This is brother. These are sisters. These are brother. Um, sister, sister, sister. Oh, I don't know how much you can even see. That one's brother, I think. Some of them are not anything. Sister, sister, like how cute. Like if there was a brother version of this, I don't know how well you can see. Um, but that'd be so cute. Um, but there's not. It's all just sister. Sister, um, sister, sister. Like how cute if there was a brother version. It's like embroidered sister. But there's not. No brother version. Um, and there's more. It just continues. Sister, 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 sis way more sister stuff than there is brother stuff um anyway i'm gonna carry on back. okay i've just placed an order 145 pounds later there's so much money um but i have bought kind of duplicates what is going on i have bought kind of duplicates of things because i just as much as like maternity clothes right i feel like you should be able to buy your size in the maternity section and that be your size but like then you read the reviews and some say like too big too small um so i've bought like some doubles and i'm just gonna see what to keep and what to send back but i thought i would just quickly sit and show you what i got i got some stuff for me and some stuff for buzz um don't feel bad for ollie he would much rather not spend money so um yeah i got this little set for buzz if you can see a little tracksuit set um and this was seven pounds so i feel like it's definitely more like autumnal colors it's like rust kind of vibe but for seven pound i just thought that was pretty good um and i find that h&m two to three is quite like oversized generally so um i mean yeah saying that some is some isn't but generally so hopefully that will last him a little while um i am just showing you in order of like what's in my basket it's just a black one and then a white and black stripy one and these are like ruched at the sides a little bit and it says just two pack jersey tops these were 18 pound for the two um so I picked up those and then I also picked up, these look very, very similar and I don't think you're going to um, get the gist from me just showing you my phone screen. It's probably rubbish me showing you my phone screen anyway, but um, just for ease and whatever else, I will link everything below. Um, but yeah, I've ordered this two set as well. Can I zoom in? Yeah, so I don't know if you can see, but like the um, hems are like frayed. Yeah, you defo can't see, can you? Um, 
and I just wasn't sure if they were like a slightly different these say cotton so they look really nice like quality um but just my worry is I don't know what's better to kind of hold down like I find a certain top roll up your bump um like the elasticy ones but then I like how the elasticy ones fit so I've ordered those they were 18 pounds no they weren't they were 20 pounds for the two um so that's 40 pounds there on four t-shirts and they're all like you know two of them are like they look the same there's um, a black one and a stripy one so one of those sets I'll definitely send back if not both depending on how they fit but um yeah I just wanted to see what I preferred and then I ordered these mama before and after jersey trousers again I don't know how much you're gonna get the gist they just look like wide leg trousers um and they basically they've got the bump band but it can also be rolled down for after and it's got good reviews so yeah I just thought um something like that would be quite handy they were 20 pounds like it's a lot of money like and I feel like last time I kind of didn't really get too much maternity stuff at all because we were in lockdown I wasn't really going anywhere so I kind of just like Oh, my baby boy, look, someone's woke up from his nap, unhappy. Oh, is daddy gonna bring him out to me? Baby boy! Did you wake up not happy? Yeah. I wonder what you... Oh. What other ones shall we sing? Shall we sing? Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck one, ding, the mouse fell down, hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock. Would you like to sing? See the little bunnies sleeping till nearly noon, shall we wake them? with a merry tune they're so still are they ill wake up soon wake up bunnies hop little bunnies hop 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 little bunnies hop 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 little bunnies hop 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 hop, hop and stop are you gonna go to sleep again no no what song should we sing now then? Mm -hmm. The frogs? Mm -hmm. Five leaves? Mm -hmm. No. The wheels on the bus? Mm -hmm. The cheeky buzzy? Mm -hmm. The um, choo choo? Mm -hmm. No choo choo? About Twinkle Star again? Mm -hmm. No. What about? The grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. Uh, when they were down, they were down. I don't know where I got to. Um, oh yeah, so I got those trousers and I got the t-shirts. And then I also got this for Buzzy. Do you like this clothes? No. Nah. <laughs> no. Um, I got him this little tracksuit set, which I thought was really, really cute. I think that was 12 99 um, maybe not the most practical of colours, but I just really liked it. Baby boy. Where are you going? You falling off? Come back up. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Um, you going for an explore? You going to play with your cars? Oh, baby boy. Mind your... Okay, Buzzy is just chilling next to me, watching some of his favourite show with his Mickey Mouse and just unwinding, cheering up. He's been a bit under the weather um, for a little while now and it's just, his moods are just like not it. He's just, he normally wakes up just chatting away, happy as anything, but he keeps waking up just crying at the minute. He's obviously not feeling himself, so yes. Um, but yeah, so I got him that tracksuit set, that was 13 or 12 99 I think it was. Um, I got him this little shorts and t-shirt set. It's like safari. Um, or I think it's shorts and a sweatshirt, actually. Um, I love that kind of thing. I think it's really good for, like, spring. Two pack of vest tops. I'm just going to get, like, two packs. And then if I um, 
if I like, then maybe I'll like duplicate some, but I just got, it's just a white and a black vest top. I don't know if these are gonna fit me, um, but they were only 15 pounds. It's like a light denim and they've got rips in the knees. Um, so we'll see, we'll see if they look good or even fit. Probably not the most practical of colors, but I really, really liked it. It's like cream with like um, kind of sketched Mickey's and Donald's all over it. Now I know I'm having another boy though. I feel like as long as it doesn't get ruined, I feel like, you know, it's an investment because anything I get for him, his little brother will wear one day. <laughs> and then lastly, I picked up just these kind of um, like cropped trousers. I mostly got these because they were reduced from £20 down to £8. I don't know what they'll be like, um, but they're just in this like kind of khaki type colour um, and they've got like a bump band. It is a bit depressing, like all my tops keep rolling up. <laughs> I got my oversized shirts, um, so hopefully with those like jersey trousers, the new tops, I'll be away. As you saw, Buzz is awake. So I'm gonna end this vlog because this is a spend nap time with me. Um, yeah, what time is it? He woke up, so it's now quarter past four, so he probably woke up at about four, maybe just before. So yeah, had a really decent time um, where I was able to do the kitchen, make some lunch, put some bits away in the caravan, order those things on H&M. And I feel good. And now I can spend the afternoon in my little grumpy pants and hopefully he'll cheer up. He will do once he like wakes up a little bit. I'll give him a snack. Do some dinner in a bit and just have some play. I think we'll get out onto his tough tray. He's really enjoying the splashing outside at the minute. So um, today's like the first day in ages. It's actually felt like spring, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stop talking thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i definitely didn't like plan to film this i just was getting on with doing stuff and i thought let's pick up the camera because i've not got a new video up this week i am kind of i feel like the weeks just go by so quickly i really want to post two times a week but it just goes round. like if I just maybe tried to pre-film some stuff a little bit so I always had like a week ahead or something but I keep not having that and it's just like time just goes so quickly. Um, also I was uploading like Sundays and Wednesdays but I feel like everyone uploads Sundays and Wednesdays so I kind of think I'd quite like to change it to maybe like Mondays and Fridays or Mondays and Thursdays, um, something like that, like just slightly different, I don't know. I don't really think people probably care that much. It's just for me in my head. Anyway, I'm talking rubbish. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave me a little comment down below. Um, tell me how you're doing. I'd love to know. And I will see you very, very soon for another video. Bye, guys. Mwah.